Good morning. It's Thursday the 10th of August. Just less than two weeks ago, I came across an article on the BBC News titled England's Big Picture, 31st of July to 6th of August 2023. You may have seen it. People were being encouraged to send in pictures, ideally taken in the last week. The pictures chosen would be shared as people are encouraged to take moments every day to relax and enjoy the beauty of England through stunning pictures. The same was being done in Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. Flicking back through the news, I saw the same thing had happened the previous month between the 17th and 23rd of July. There were a variety of beautiful landscapes and animals. So it'd be interesting to see what pictures are chosen for that week in August. Living in the Yorkshire Dales, I'm blessed to be surrounded by beautiful countryside. The sweeping, unspoilt beauty of the Dales Villages nestled in the hillside, views changing depending on the weather and the seasons. But when we've lived in a place for a time, we can sometimes take the views for granted. And it can take a fresh pair of eyes to see things that make us stop and look again at what surrounds us. I know that growing up in the southwest, I took the sea for granted. It wasn't until I moved away that I realised how fortunate I had been living so close to the sea and that not everyone was as lucky as I was. Even if you don't live in what would be considered a naturally beautiful area, we can all still find beauty around us if we take the time to look. Not to assume what we're going to see, or thinking there's no point in looking because it won't be beautiful. Even a flower that's pushed its way through man-made concrete is beautiful. There was another news article recently that described how Stack Rock Fort, just off Milford Haven in Pembrokeshire, was slowly being reclaimed by nature. The owners of the 19th century structure planned for it to become a living ruin, a combination of nature and architecture. It's an opportunity to see what happens as nature is allowed to reclaim the land. A local photographer has taken some pictures. It will be interesting to see if he continues to do this and how they change over time. Left alone, nature will take its course and the landscape will change. I wonder what photos you might take of where you live if you were asked to capture England's big picture. What encapsulates something of the beauty of opportunity seen in God's creation? Might it be something obvious? Something that's been photographed many times before. Or maybe something more personal, closer to home. All things bright and beautiful, the Lord God made them all. Let us pray. Creator God, thank you for the beauty of the world you created. May we always be seeking to see things afresh, to be reminded of the awesomeness of your creation and our responsibility as careful stewards. Amen.